you on your quest for knowledge. Good. We don't even know where to start. Well, who came up with standard deviation? Well, that's a good question. But why don't we ask the man who developed it himself? I am Carl Friedrich Gauss. At the end of the 18th and beginning of the 19th century, I was the foremost mathematician of my day. I used the standard deviation to help discover the normal distribution curve, also called the Gaussian distribution, in honor of me. I used the standard deviation and the Gaussian curve to analyze error in astronomical observation when I tried to mathematically determine the shape and size of the Earth's surface. This was the first widely known use of the standard deviation. Well, that's all fine and nice, but what does it all mean? Well, you see, the standard deviation is the most widely used statistical measure of the spread or deviation of a set of data. Now, the standard deviation, like the variance, measures dispersion about the mean as the center of that set of data. Wait a minute. I didn't understand a word of that. It just simply means how far spread out is all, are all the values from the mean. Oh! Okay. Let me show you it is on paper. You see, okay, here's a sample problem. Let's take a random set of values. Now, in order to find the standard deviation of these values, we must first find the mean. Then, we must subtract each value from the mean in order to get the deviation. In order, then, what we must do is square each deviation and add them together to find this number. Then we must find the variance, which is simply the mean of the deviations squared. Now, in order to find the standard deviation, we must find the square root of this variance, which happens to be 7.239. So all you're saying is to find the standard deviation of a set of values, all we need to do is find the mean of that set, subtract the mean from each member of the set to find each deviation score, take the square of each deviation, find the mean of those squares, which is the variance, and take the square root of that variance to find the standard deviation? Well, I never knew it was that easy! Well, you could make it a lot easier if you just took, rather than squaring and then taking the square root of everything, why don't you just add and subtract everything together? This is a normal distribution of values described by a, this type of curve called a normal curve. Because the shape resembles that of a bell, the curve is also known as a bell shape or bell curve. Mm -hmm. By using the mean and a non-negative measure of dispersion, known as the standard deviation, we can identify some of the characteristics of data in a normal distribution. Mm -hmm. Notice that the area under the curve has been divided by vertical segments at points that correspond to the mean and to the values that are 1, 2, and 3 standard deviations on either side of the mean. Normal distribution is important for several reasons. First, many types of data tend to have approximately a normal distribution. The errors made in repeated careful measurements are normally distributed so that the normal distribution is used by scientists in the study of errors of observation. I don't. I wonder what's taking Rehouse so long. Ah, well. 
So, do you mean to tell me that only scientists use standard deviation? I mean, what about regular people? Why, regular people use this all the time. Why, statisticians are involved in agriculture, geology, actuarial professions, market research, industry, and even advertising policies. You mean all those people use standard deviation? Why, sure. Even test scores of many standardized psychological and educational tests follow or nearly follow a normal distribution. You mean like the tests we take? Why, yes. Wow, we learned so much about standard deviation. We learned that they were first used by Carl Friedrich Gauss in the 19th century. We learned that to calculate the standard deviation, all you've got to do is find the mean of a set of data, subtract the mean from each value to calculate each deviation, square the deviations, find the average of those squares, and then take their square root. That'll give you the standard deviation. We learned that statisticians, geologists, and scientists all use standard deviation. Nice. Well, I must be on my way. Thank you, Standard Deviation Man, for teaching us all we needed to know. It was my pleasure. Now I must leave you to assist others in their quest for knowledge in Standard Deviation. So how was Ozfest last night, man? Yeah. Well, that was good. Yeah. So I wonder about this Standard Deviation stuff. Yeah. You, think, you think White Castle's will hire me if I know anything like that? They might. Who knows? You know, standard deviation of the temperatures of all the hamburgers. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back! I couldn't find that cow tire. Oh. Uh, that's alright. Got some snacks for everybody? You Soda. missed it! Standard deviation man was just here. No in way! The flesh, it was him. That's incredible! He came in, he taught us everything we needed to know. Oh right. man, I missed all of that? You missed it all. That's alright, we can help you learn. That's a good thing. Wait, wait, rehide. You weren't wearing glasses before, weren't you? Yeah. Standard deviation. Now we know what it is. With Dave as Dave. <laughs> and Bill as Bill. And Dan, the man with the long hair. Yeah. And Eric as Standard Deviation Man. <laughs> <laughs>